Welcome to this short video demonstration of the Sterling Trade Portal application. Trade Portal application is designed to give your customers 24-7 access to your business, therefore extending your availability to them when it suits them and providing a greater level of customer satisfaction. The Trade Portal is browser-based but is connected to your business system in real time, making your business accessible to your customer at their home or workplace when it suits them. There is a registration process that your customers must complete to set up their access with a username and password, but once complete, they have access to the wide range of facilities provided within the Trade Portal. After logging in, the customer is first taken to the home page with a slideshow of images either showcasing your business or providing a facility for further advertising. The main site is made up of a number of components. Across the top of the screen are the major pages of the site. These range from viewing of products and placing orders through to the viewing of orders and quotes, invoices or statements. There is also the ability to view and maintain custom lists of regularly ordered products and also a range of facilities underneath the My Account button. All these buttons along the top of the screen are visible at all times throughout the application, enabling easy navigation around the site. Along the bottom of the page is the bottom links bar. From this bar, the user can access any of the handy links that you may have provided them. They can email to your support department. They can even view a store listing complete with map showing the location of your stores. or send an email asking their assigned rep to give them a call. From within the trade portal, your customers can access copies of their orders and quotes, invoices and statements, greatly reducing the number of requests that would normally end up with your receivables department. Each of these options function in much the same way, whereby your customer is presented with a list of transactions or statements, and they can drill down to view or email or print. When drilling into a quote, your customer will be able to email or print themselves a copy. They can send an email to request a change be made, accept the quote and turn it into an order, or simply copy the products into the shopping cart to create another transaction. Drilling into an order provides much the same functionality, except that obviously the ability to accept the quote is removed. They can still request to make changes to the order, which sends an email to the relevant branch with whatever changes have been requested. Drilling into an invoice is once again very similar. The added feature for invoices is that your customer can tag many invoices and choose to email all of them in one go. When choosing to view statements, your customer will be able to view each month-end statement that you have produced for them. But they can also view their current account details via the statement entry that shows as at right now. They can drill into these statements to check which invoices are outstanding. This helps greatly with account reconciliations. Statements can be emailed or printed, or there is further drill down into the invoice. The custom list option shows the list of favorite shopping carts that your customer has previously saved. You can drill down into these to view the products, edit the products, delete the cart or copy these products into the active shopping cart. Under the My Account button is the ability to amend your address and phone number details, view a list of downloadable files, pay your account via PayPal or simply sign out of the trade portal. The products page is where your customers are able to browse your products and add products to the shopping cart to create orders and quotes. Products can be found either by drilling down through the categories at the top of the screen or by searching using the search box. As you can see here, I can drill down through the kitchens and laundry, laundry to find hot water systems. This is the same range of products that could be found through heating, hot water, hot water systems or through bathrooms, bathroom, hot water systems. Once the product set is selected, the products can be viewed as either a list view or an image gallery. The products can be further filtered using the attributes on the left hand side, or the customer can simply 
drill down further into the product to view the spec sheet, view more information about the product or to see their specific price. Products can be added to the shopping cart in many different ways, either from this product drill down screen by clicking on this button, from the image gallery by clicking on this button, or from the list view by clicking on the plus sign at the end of the line. If adding a timber product, the customer will be prompted for the quantity and length of the tally. In the end, your customer will have a shopping cart with a range of products on it that can either be saved as a new custom list or proceed on to creating an order or quote by completing the required fields on the order completion screen and then clicking on the appropriate create order or quote button. You will see here that as I select a different dispatch method, pick up or delivery, different fields become mandatory on the screen. A pickup requires only a job name, order reference, what branch, date and time, whereas a delivery requires full address details. A delivery requires full address details so that the system can find the closest branch to supply the goods and for calculating distance based delivery charges. In this example, I wish to pick up the goods for a particular job from branch 10, I wish to pick up the goods in a week's time in the afternoon and click the create order button. Regardless of which dispatch method chosen or which button I click on, the transaction gets created in the back end system, sends an email to the appropriate branch and also returns this confirmation message back to the customer. As the system is real time, I could now click on the orders and quotes button and find that transaction. And there's my transaction having been created in the back end system and sent back to the customer. That completes the demonstration of the Sterling Trade Portal. I hope it has shown how providing this access to your customers will enable them to access your business where and when it suits, making it easier to deal with your business, therefore resulting in more satisfied customers. Thank you for watching.